In this video, I'm going to show you how I create a hub using hub pages, and I'm going to show you how to navigate through the site, how to use the capsules to save you a little time rather than just teaching yourself. You go to your profile after signing in, and you're going to see a link, Start a New Hub. Click it. I'm going to type in three shopping gig. It would tell me if the title is available or not. And I'm going to choose the category for now. You can always change it later. Frugal living, bargain shopping. Just go through the motions. And text photo comment. I'm going to choose this layout, the one that's already chose, chosen. I'm going to type in mystery shopping scams mystery shopping and get paid to shop I'll show you in a minute how you can add more tags you click continue okay the title wasn't taken that's excellent I'm going to click continue now I already had my content typed out to save time. I'm going to highlight it, copy it, close it. Now you see a text capsule here, a photo capsule, and comments. What I like to do, I like to comments must be approved, only signed in members can post comments. And then if you want to choose the other ones, that's up to you. Click Save. In this capsule, the text capsule, I'm going to click Edit. And on the top, I'm going to write Mystery Shopping. Shopping. I'm going to do this, guys. Mystery Shopping a Scam. I'm going to paste my content into the field. Of course, you got to play around with it just a little bit. To get it where you want it to be. I'm going to highlight that. Make it bold. Usually when you copy and paste, you got to mess around a little bit. But that's, you know, you're talking about a couple of minutes. see something. Scroll down. I'll do it again. This will take another 30 seconds. I'll continue and show you how to use the hub page platform. Hub pages allows you to offer its members a free opportunity to earn income online for writing articles about topics that interest you. I'm just going to mess around a little more. Almost finished, folks. Hubpages.com now has their own hub page program that pays you, but it complements if you have a an AdSense account. You need an AdSense account, I believe, to join and that's two ways to earn income online, two different streams of income. And one more. Okay. I want to make this bold. And this last one, I want to, I guess, slant it, whatever you want to call it. Let's take a quick look here. Because I know. Now, they used to have a spell check here. I'm going to click it. Oh, it's working today. Sometimes it does it automatically while you're typing. And sometimes it don't. So don't get upset. If it doesn't let you, you got to do that. Now I'm just taking a quick look. I only had a couple of typos. Excellent. When I first 
it, blah, blah, blah. All right. Well, that's good enough. I can always change it after I show you. I'm going to click Save. There's my content. Looks good. I checked the spelling. Not bad. Now, this is good to teach you. I've learned that adding images and linking those images to other URLs, whether it be your own your, your, your own articles, blogs, or websites, or someone else's, it's up to you. Con connecting images to relevant articles, linking them to your hub page hub, makes a difference. It helps with search engine optimization. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, what I do, I went to Flickr. I already have it open. I'm going to use this picture, this woman shopping with shopping bags. Going to right click, going to save image as. Oh, I don't want it in that folder. I'm going to put it in my documents. I'm going to change the file name, mystery shopping gig. I'm saving it as a JPEG. You could change it, all files, JPEG. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. For some reason, it gave me a hard time. I'll do it again. I want to save it in documents. Now, maybe I'm not going to change the file name. Let's see what happens. Uh, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Something good to teach you. Now I'm going to go back. Well, before I do, this is a friend of mine, Connor. He joined Hub Pages a few weeks ago. And I'm creating this video to help him and to help a couple of other people. I'm at his hub already. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click link to this page. I want to do him a solid. I want to copy the URL. This this is a tracking URL. It makes a difference. If anybody clicked on the link that I'm about to add to my hub, clicked on the image and went to his hub and decided to join, it would be linked to him. That's very important. I didn't do that in the beginning and I lost a lot of referrals. But you live and you learn. I'm going to edit the photo capsule. Choose photo. Ugh. It's going to make me five for this one. Let's see if this, if I'm quick at it. Oh good, it's the right one. I like to use quarter width. For some reason they let you name, sometimes they let you name them, sometimes they don't. And I'm going to write Beware Mystery Shopping Opportunity because that's the name of his hub. That's the title of his hub. Well, before I copy and paste that, I'm going to paste the URL that I got from the link to this page at the bottom of his hub. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to highlight this. I like to copy and paste as much as possible. Less room for error. And then I'm just going to put that there in the caption box. I like to fill these all out. I feel it makes a difference. It helps with SEO. It helps you receive a high, higher page rank when over time you start linking relative articles, hubs, blogs, websites to your article, your hub. I'm going to click Save. There you go. His hub is now linked to this link right here. So if anybody wants to view it, they're going to be like, what's that about? Be, beware a mystery shopping opportunity. Now, after this video, I'm going to add a couple of more images. But I want to show you, over here, first of all, I'm not sure what reorder means, but if you want to add more tags, when I'm finished with this video, I am. I'm going to add more tags into here. Get paid to shop. You know, I want to show you quick. Shop shop to get paid add tag that's how you do that if you want to add a video you, you click add more capsules you click the video and it says add a capsule below there it is you can move it to the right or you can use the arrow and move it up 
and I can place a video here. And when you do that, create a subtitle, which is very important, folks. And then you put the either embedded code or URL of the YouTube. Well, I shouldn't say just YouTube. They take it from Blip TV, Made a Cafe, R Revere, Rever, Vimo, Yahoo. And then you click preview video and you can tell right there if the video was properly embedded. Click save. I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah. Because I was just doing that to show you. And you do it with the rest. You can add a pool, a real syndicated mm, something. Your RSS, Amazon table, map. You, you have your choices. But that's how you add capsules to your hubs. Okay. That's all I really wanted to do for now. Create another hub, another topic I never wrote about because of my friend Connor. I was like, oh, I experienced this. Why not write about it? Now I have another topic, which will earn me revenue with the hub page program or AdSense or even Amazon. You know what? I'm going to add an Amazon capsule. Why shouldn't I? That's pretty silly. I'm going to use the arrow, make it sh to the right, bring it up. I'm going to click edit, choose specific products. I'm going to do it by keyword. I'm going to write mystery shopping. See what happens. And when I do that, I'm going to choose miscellaneous preview Amazon results. I'm going to write mystery shopping info information. Oh, one came up. That'll change. More will show up soon, but you could choose how many ads you want to be shown there. I'll stick with five because I know eventually more will show up. You know, after a little while, Amazon, they, you know, they scroll your content. They look for certain keywords. And over time, you'll notice more Amazon products being listed here. But I feel five should be good because it'll go all the way down. I'm going to click Publish. And I like to share it on Facebook. I like to, I don't use Twitter as much as I use Facebook. Let us sign in. Tell me wrong keyword, wrong password. Hmm. Let me hit enter again, there you go. Sometimes things like that happen. I'll click share link. You're giving me a hard time. share link. Well, most of the time it works, folks. The system could be down. It's not always you. That's another good thing to teach you. It's not always you when something doesn't work. The server could be down. Bad connection. You try again later. No big deal. Alright. I believe you've published another hub. I'm going to go to my account. I'm going to scroll down my shopping gig. I'm going to click the link just to check it and there you go. There's my new hub. I got the tags, the keywords. See, now after you publish it, you can go back and they give you ideas, keywords to use, mystery shopping gigs. I'll use that. Mystery shopping gig. Mystery shopping websites. I didn't use that. Regular, regular mystery shop I didn't use. So there you go. 12 to 15 keywords should be good enough. You want to put more, I guess you can, but I don't feel search engines... You want to be very specific to your topic. Pick keywords that speak solely, soul of your topic. Because it does help when, it, when it's time to search engines that spider your content and the robots that go through searching for keywords and over time you receive a higher page rank within the search engines that creates organic traffic when someone does a search at a search engine and they find your URL to your article or hub that's called organic traffic okay folks